and welcome back. I thought today I would um, share with you what seeds I am sowing this week. Um, I've got a bit of a mix. Um, I'm going to sow some more sweet peas because I can't get enough of those. And I've got some tomatoes I want to start going. I've got three different varieties. I've got a Heinz tomato and um, this looks like a beef stick tomato or beef tomato and then I've got the Gardener's Delight which is quite common and then my last one um, is one I've never grown before it's one I want to use for cut flowers I can't pronounce it but it looks like this and they've got sort of yellow pom-pom flowers and I thought they would look great as cut flowers in a vase they just look really fun so I'm going to try them as well So I've got some seed trays already with soil in. I'll just show you the last one. Just gonna put some of the seed compost in there. It's already got water in it. And I'm just gently going to firm down just so there are no air holes in those, in each compartment. I'm not gonna fill it all the way to the top because I want to put my seeds in and then cover with soil. So I'm just going to firm down because you don't want any air pockets in there and also when you do come to water it all the soil will just collapse so you want to make sure that it's um, just slightly pressed in. There we go. So in this pot, because it's got quite a wall of mine, this is the tallest seed tray I'm going to grow um, my sweet peas um, now sweet peas are a hardy annual and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two in each module and I will still be left with some so that's one lot of sweet peas done now, as I said, I've never tried these before. Um, it says to sow on the surface of fresh compost and then sprinkle with compost over the top. Um, again, these will go um, on the propagator inside. They're quite small seeds, so let's see how we do. It's great to go grow cut flowers. If you've never grown cut flowers before, I really suggest you try it. And then you can, gosh, these seeds are absolutely tiny. You probably can't even see them. Excuse my grubby hands. So I'm just gonna sprinkle them over the top. going to lightly put some more compost on top just to cover as I said this compost is already very wet I might just give them a little sprinkle of water before I put them inside it's cephalophora 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 I don't know I'll put the date on as well put them in. that's another one done and the last thing I'm going to say today are my tomatoes so uh, I've got my three different varieties and I've got three different um, containers ready for sowing my seeds because I've got so many different varieties I'm growing this year I'm not going to have too many of the same variety um, otherwise I'll be inundated with tomatoes and I won't have any space when they actually start to germinate and start to grow so um, actually Heinz was something we grew last year um, 
and they did all right but i think they get too hot in the greenhouse so i'm actually going to try once the weather is warmer keeping them outside and see if that makes any difference because last year the greenhouse was so hot i think it just scorched them and i just couldn't keep up with the watering so um if there are any seeds in here there are so i'm actually going to put two in each okay. module I have a few left over. I might put an extra one in, see, I've only got about four seeds left. Chance it. I can always weed out the weaker ones when they come up. Then I'm just going to lightly cover with some more compost. So I've got my label ready. There we go. Now when we grow our tom tomatoes, what we like to do is collect them all and put them in the freezer and then make lots of um, like tomato sauces, like bolognese and pastas. Okay, so this one is the Gardener's Delight. These are, I believe they're the cherry ones. Um, very successful, very popular. If I can get them out, pack it. Now I haven't got any of these. There's two more in there. So, oh, don't sew one over the top of the other, because then you might get a rogue seed. I'm not sure where that one went and I haven't got many. There's one more in there. Oh, there's a couple more in there. Let's try and get out. And I'm not sure if that's a seed or not, but I'm going to stick it in and see what happens. So I've only got two per module for that, just because I haven't got any more seeds, but that's fine. I don't need loads. As long as they germinate. Okay. It's the gardener's delight. That's two done. And then my last one is we've got some beef. Um, tomatoes which again I did think I grew last year um, but again they got too hot in the greenhouse they were just so scorched and then the tomatoes sort of split so I'm gonna risk them outside today, this year um, I'll keep them in the greenhouse until the weather warms up and then hopefully if we get a nice summer right, I've got lots of seeds here I won't be able to see sow them all Now these beef tomatoes, they turn out all right. I love tomato uh, with mozzarella, balsamic vinegar. So how amazing will it be to grow my own beef tomatoes to have with mozzarella cheese? 
nice summer evening as a little snack. There we go. My last label in and they are done. So those are just some of the seeds that I am growing this year. I'll probably be sowing some more in a couple of weeks some different seeds. I've got um, loads of other vegetables to grow and also some cut flowers. I really want to improve my cut flower bed this year. So stay tuned for that. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please let me know what seeds you're growing this year. Hope you've had a good weekend and I will see you on Wednesday.